Hello, and welcome back to Mainly Menswear. My name is Dwayne McLeod, and I am glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be working on a little video on how to hem a coat or a jacket. And every once in a while I'll see a really terrific looking coat on Instagram, but the hem is like a complete tragedy, and I just don't want that to happen to you. So today we're going to work on a old school method of hemming a coat. There'll be a little bit of hand sewing involved, but I always find that that comes at the end of the project. And when the hem looks really terrific, it gives me a sense of victory in a way. So let's get started on an old school method of hemming a coat. Okay. I'm not actually working on a coat right now, so I've made up uh, a little sample that will uh, demonstrate how a, how a coat can be hemmed. And what I need to do is right now, this is uh, like the bottom edge of a coat, and here's our front facing, which has been um, folded to the inside of the garment. And if I flip it out here, you'll see here is our... Um, hair canvas that we talked about in the uh, last session and it has been sewn in using the technique where the edge has been replaced by muslin therefore there's very little bulk in this seam and when you go to press your facing back um, you are going to want to roll that facing back so that none of it is going to be visible from the front and if you have a clapper, which is this wooden tool, when you go to press that uh, seam down with lots of steam, after you've finished pressing it, you want to put your clapper right on that seam and apply some pressure. And what happens is the fibers in the wood actually absorb the moisture from the steam and you will end up with a really nice crisp edge, um, especially on a wool garment. Um, you don't actually need to have a, a, a real clapper. I've heard that you could actually do this with any piece of wood. In fact, somebody suggested that you could do it with a child's building block. So, so we're, what are we going to do here? We're going to hem this up two inches, and I have just sort of put a little strip of basting here to mark my two inches where this hem is going to fold up. And of course, along the bottom edge of your coat, eventually you're going to encounter a seam. Maybe it's going to be a side seam. And um, you will need to reduce the bulk here in your hem. And the way this is done, you'll fold your a hem up the two inches that you're going to go. I usually just pop a pin in up here. And then you want to trim this seam allowance down to a quarter inch. And I use my trusty little bandage uh, shears here so that I don't accidentally cut through <laughs> to the front of my coat or jacket. And you are just going to trim this seam down to a quarter of an inch so that when your hem gets flipped up you don't have a lot of bulk here at the bottom. Uh, you'll also want to do this back here where the where the facing is attached to the coat. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these and then we'll move on to the next step. Uh, this part of the hem can get quite bulky um, when you fold this back. Um, and again, we're going to be folding it up. Uh, so it's entirely appropriate if you would like, you could trim a half an inch off the bottom of your facing here. Um, and you also want to make sure while I'm talking about that, that, that your interfacing is not hanging down into the hem. You want to make sure that it's, that it stops here, uh, at the fold of your hem. Most contemporary patterns now are designed to use 
fusible interfacings. In the old days of vintage Vogue patterns, you might have gotten actual pattern pieces for the interfacing, and those days, I think, are long gone. <laughs> So if you're going to be using a traditional hair canvas interfacing, you're essentially going to be cutting your own pattern. And you just want to make sure that your, that your canvas is a little bit wider than your facing. Uh, this one's like a quarter of an inch, which is fine. I, I think that would be minimal. This eventually, of course, is all going to be covered over with a, with a lining. Um, so none of this will be visible. And all of the uh, layers will be staggered and you will get uh, a smoother appearance. So I think you remember that I mentioned that bias muslin gets used a lot in tailoring and this is uh, going to be yet another example. Um, in this case our hem is two inches and you are going to want uh, some bias muslin strips that are half inch wider than the hem. So in this case, this is a two and a half inch wide bias strip, which is going to uh, get tucked in a little bit under here. And it will end right at the fold of the hem. You don't want the, the muslin to get folded up in your hem. You want it to lay right in the fold. And the hem will be pulled up and I just temporarily pin this into place. And I should mention that it, this, this demonstration is a little unrealistic in that most coats are probably going to have a slight curve to the hem. And so what you are going to want to do is to take your coat to the ironing board have your iron with lots of steam and you will block the muslin to the shape of your hem. Because it's a bias cut, it will form very nicely and you're going to want to first block your muslin so that it conforms very nicely to your coat. And then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is very straightforward. You are just going to want to take this to your machine and stitch your hem to the muslin a quarter inch away. So all along here. This is a step that's very difficult to do on my vintage machines because the pressure foot has uh, two different sides. One is much narrower than the other. So this is one of the rare instances where I pull out one of my modern machines because it has a presser foot, I think probably designed for quilting, uh, where I can very easily stitch a quarter of an inch away from this edge. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've used a contrasting thread so that you could see the quarter inch uh, seam that I've done here where I've attached the muslin to the hem. And now we get to the hand sewing part. And I usually like to hold the coat in my lap. I turn it around. And you, what you want to do is you want to fold the hem of the coat away from you. And hold it like this. And uh, I've already started here, but... I always like to use a silk thread when I do my hemming and I'm not doing this because I think it's fancy. I'm doing this because the silk thread just doesn't tangle and it makes this operation go very smoothly and actually quite quickly and I think you'll find that you really enjoy it. And so you're just going to want to take like a single thread of your fashion fabric and then go into the muslin and the Stitches should not be tight and they should be about a half an inch uh, long and you will just work your way across the hem uh, just like this. You may want to experiment with different needles. My hands are quite arthritic so I prefer a, a shorter needle. This is a number seven between 
which works just perfectly for me. So once you're, once we've gone around the coat and hemmed it, uh, you will come back to the facing and the hem will be up like this and you will simply fold this facing back and this can get a little bulky and you're going to want to use probably a good amount of steam here and your clapper and you may be thinking oh my gosh I have a raw edge here uh, yes you do and you will have a raw edge there and all you need to do is either a small cross stitch across here or a little you know overhand stitch just to secure this and you're not going to do any other stitching here other than pressing this so there'll be an opening here at the bottom of your hem but if you have if you have really paid attention to cutting your fabric on grain the front of your coat will just hang perfectly there will never be any bubbling down here it will just it will just want to fall and it's just so elegant and on the back side your hem will be virtually imperceptible here because it's just between that strip of muslin and a single thread of your coat fabric it will be almost invisible like it's held up by magic so I hope this encourages you to uh, do some hand sewing this is really an easy technique um, another thing I should just mention is this line of stitching I use this when I bring my when I bring my lining down, I bring the lining down uh, to end at a, about a half an inch up from the edge of the hem. It folds back up to, to form what's called, I believe, a take-up pleat or a take-up tuck. And I stitch my lining right along this line. It lines up beautifully. Uh, so that's it. Uh, for how to hem a coat. I hope it's been informative for you and I do hope that you will give these uh, kind of old-timey techniques a try. They really can elevate uh, the quality of your garments immeasurably. Do enjoy the time in your sewing space. Uh, I wish you all happy sewing and we'll chat later. Bye-bye.